Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we have Metal Unit. It's available for $17.49 on Steam. It is in early access. It is advertised as a side-scrolling platformer roguelite type thing, similar to like Dead Cells. Um, right off the bat, I'm made quite uncomfortable by it, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I like the settings menu. You actually have volume controls, and then you have uh, English, Korean, Japanese, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese I believe I don't know um, but uh, you got uh, you got some good menuing here which is, uh, is is a thing that is not true in a lot of games these days so um, I quite like it. and I'm gonna hop in I don't actually have my controller hooked up right now um, we're not gonna turn on assist mode keyboard only SD shift and then the uh, actually you know what? we'll go for keyboard and mouse WSD and then the uh, the left mouse button which will do just fine I don't have my controller so we're gonna be playing with keyboard and mouse it is apparently a uh, best played with controller game but my controller cord is like way over there and I'm way over here and my controller is over right here so it's 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 just I don't want to get up and go get it so I made very uncomfortable by this game immediately um, <laughs> I got it on the humble monthly so I don't feel bad about the purchase, but I'm very uncomfortable by this game. <laughs> I saw the the graphics looks a little bit pixelated. I saw a lot of the marketing was kind of um Welcome recruit unit 11. Congratulations on passing the test and becoming an official pilot of the Steel Counteroffensive. Who? I am Falcon, the super smart and cute AI assigned to Metal Unit 11. I can assist you with anything you need. Please refer to me as Falcone going forward. Hello, Falcon. Can I click to make it go? Now we have one more thing to do. You must first make a pledge before you can take a test to be commissioned as an official pilot. One, will you dedicate your life to be hunting down the queen and protecting mankind? Definitely not. Will you never give up and press on no matter the hardships? Will you continue to fight even if you may not be remembered in death? Absolutely not. My answer to all of these is no. No. The last hope of mankind forged in steel. You have passed the entrance exam to become an official pilot of the steel counteroffensives. So I saw that the graphics looked kind of like this, and I saw that there was a lot of, um... Like, uh... Um... Well, we'll call it fan servicey marketing on it. Um, I didn't expect the, the entrance to just be a, a butt right in front of you, which was a little disconcerting. Good work, Unit 11. You've overcome many trials to get to where you are now. Once you pass this final test, you'll become an official pilot, just like your sister. She was one of our greatest pilots and also a hero for what she did during the attack on the Queen's Nest. She's just a traitor to mankind now. One of the reasons I'm trying to become a pilot is to atone for her crimes. You might end up having to kill your own flesh and blood. Are you sure you're okay with that? I've already made up my mind. Okay, then for your final test, it's an emergency, Master. Training room 11 is under attack by the Garo. That training room, that's where I was trained to think something like this would happen while I'm at the headquarters for the test. Put in an emergency call for Captain Yuna. She's currently out on a mission, so she might take well. I'll go. The only other person we can deploy is... I'll go! I guess we'll have to call Adam. He should be able to... Commander, we have a situation. <laughs> what now? Recruit Unit 11 has deployed, and she's loaded with live, live ammunition. What? I knew there have been more attacks recently, but to think they would attack Training Center 11. My friends are in danger. <laughs> it was supposed to be hidden. Could my sister have... Come back, Unit 11. This is too much for you to handle. Don't worry, it's the tutorial. I can do this. No, I won't allow it. The qualification you have is just a temporary license for the test. I will revoke it immediately. Yeah, so it's definitely... Once the license is revoked, Recruit Unit 11's control of the male unit will be overridden and will be automatically returned to base. I can do this. Please give me a chance. My friends are in danger. You're still a rookie. Don't rush to your death. Return to base immediately and complete your test. I'll perform this rescue mission instead of the test. What? It's possible, according to Article 7 of the Emergency Procedures, the details of the test can be changed at will. It comes up in our search as well. I guess I have no other choice. From this point, M Unit 11 will take part in the rescue unit mission. I don't know. But thank you, Master. It's going a little bit quickly. Some of them are going a little slowly. That stubbornness has not changed one bit. We're approaching training room 11. 
Actual combat is different from training. It can you can never predict what variables might arise. Stay on guard. Understood, Master. Commencing rescue operations. So it's definitely like uh, just a hardcore fan servicey robot mecha anime, but in, in game form. Infiltration was successful. Scanning the interior. Numerous monsters have been detected inside the base. Understood, Falcon. Put it on the screen. Please call me Falcone. I'll also call you Joanna instead of your serial number. You're an interesting AI to be focused on nicknames like this. Falcone. Please call me by that name. Um, so this joke is it's probably written in Japanese. So when she said your, she probably said Falcon instead of you. And that's why they're clarifying Falcone. Um, anyway. Okay, Falcone, is that better? Someone once told me that being interesting also means you're special. I'm Falcone, the cute and unique AI. Please don't ever forget that, Joanna. Who told you that? That's... What, 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 what was... <laughs> That's an actual stutter. What, what was that? Falcone, what is that alarm? I didn't hear an alarm. I'm sorry, Joanna, you were not permitted access with your current security clearance. Security clearance? Are there some high-ranking person? The leader of mankind or something? It's classified. Are they a man? A woman? Can you at least tell me that much? That's classified. How accomplished do I have to be to view this information? It should be possible once you reach the Yuna's level. What? You mean Captain Yuna? She's the captain of the Steel Counteroffensive as well as a war hero. She participated in the assaults on the Queen's Nest. I'm just a rookie pilot. That's the minimum requirement. Also, Joanna, you're not a rookie pilot. You're still a recruit that's undergoing training. Are all AI these days as brutally honest as you? I'm only stating facts. That's called being brutally honest. Recruit Joanna, you've allowed multiple monsters to approach you by dawdling. You will be deducted points for this. Wait, hold on, don't deduct any points, please. This is uh, all a part of my plan, Falcone. Your plan? Yeah, that's right. It's uh, yeah, a plan to wipe them all out at once. I understood. Then prove to me that this was a part of your plan and not a blunder, Joe and Nah. Got it, I'll prove it. Just leave it to me. Okay, so we've, we've spent seven minutes getting to the point where we can play. Let's see. Not quite playing yet, I guess. Unit 11, everyone at this research facility has fallen to the Garo. Garo? I don't know. Thank goodness you weren't late this time. Please rescue the survivors. This time. Why are you... I don't like it. Don't worry. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about the text. I just... None of you are getting talked to. Because I don't want that on screen again. One. Break through obstacles with the dash button. You can also use the dash ability to dodge incoming attacks. Sure. Oh, this is a this is a, an enemy here. Well, within the data is a recipe for creating crystals from monster blood. Get dusted, son. Break through obstacles with the dash button. You can also use the dash ability to dodge incoming attacks. Sounds good to me. Okay. Sure. D-type magnum item acquired. Yeah. I am highly uncomfortable by this. Equip. And never show me this again. I do not like it one single bit. Okay, don't have much control over the uh, D-Magnum thing. It does an admirable amount of damage, I guess. But like, this does so much more damage and you can attack so much faster. It's really just so much better in every in every possible way, you know. Yeah, like this is uh, pretty underwhelming in the in the grand scheme of things. The game itself feels good though. Like if you can ignore the the weird fan servicey stuff, like the game is it feels good quiet too quiet it was so lively before any signs of life i'm not seeing the roguelite key parts yet I'm still scanning now but i don't detect any signs of human life within one kilometer unless that like gun was random but 
Contact Master. Understood. Contacting Headquarters. Unit 11, did you get there safely? Report on the situation inside the base. Report. Monsters have overrun the base. There are no survivors. All of my friends are... There's no time for motions. Don't get distracted during your search operation. But there will be time for you to be side, side, sad after you return home line. I just want to play the game. It's been 10 minutes. Understood. Monsters have been detected near the crystal. Make your way there immediately. I will avenge my friends. If you are filled with rage, let your heart burn, but keep your head cool. Understood. I got it. Just allow me to please play the game like a little bit at a time here. You know? Is that so much to ask for? You're dead. Check out that dodge. It was an epic dodge. The likes of which this game has never seen before. Oh my god. Okay, I want to talk to this guy because he's down here and he seems interesting, I guess. Kind of uh, kind of happy that we don't get to talk to him because I'm very uncomfortable by uh, everything. Uh, Sarah Shuriken item. Nope. Let's just get out of here. Uh, we'll equip that right there. Nope. Nice. I like this. Like it's it, it feels good. The game feels the game feels good, you know. It's really how it goes, but uh, it's uh, it's it's just it's got some some irredeemable flaws in in my personal opinion but uh, you know beyond that it feels it feels very good nano potion M acquired okay make sure you don't get it by that I guess I dodged that don't even what do we get nano potion M Sounds good. Turn back. There's a terrifying monster ahead. Yeah, me? We couldn't penetrate its shields with a weapon. Please leave while you can. Nah. This is the first boss fight. I gotta take it out! Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Uh-huh. So hit him from behind, maybe? Yeah, hit him from behind. And don't get hit from behind. Easy, easy, easy fight. Look at that. Look at that dodge. You see that dodge? <laughs> I'm a master. I don't even need to use my falcony thing. That's my first time seeing such a powerful Garo. That was a surprise. Yeah, we almost died. Your experience was nearly the death. Well, at least we defeated it, didn't we? Oh my God. I've heard that humans use the illogical word lucky to refer to these kinds of situations. It was not lucky. Yeah. Joanna, the number of monsters is rapidly increasing. Oh no, when did they... We're about to be surrounded. I remember... I rec I re ah! The entrance. Damn, the other side too. Both the entrance and the exit have been sealed off. Any escape routes? Nigh. In your current state, escape is not possible on your own. This is when... Uh, her sister comes in to save the day, right? Or Yuna? Or Alex? Yeah. Yuna has arrived at the site. The enemy has been annihilated. Unit 11. Joanna was successfully rescued. Captain Yuna. Well done. You got there just in time. Deploying a rookie into actual combat like this. Isn't that a bit much, Doctor? I did all I could to convince her otherwise, but she was too stubborn. I'm sure you know stranger to how she can be. She was the one who requested replacing the test with actual combat, not me. This one actually lasted long enough. Sigh. Captain 11, or Unit 11 says you kept it. <laughs> Listen well, Joanna, why does her name keep changing? You don't get second chances in the world. Eh, understood, Captain. That being said, you're getting pretty good with the metal units. I guess I'll be seeing. Oh, because Falcony. Eh, does that mean I pass even though I got surrounded and would have gotten myself killed if not for your help? You survived, didn't you? That's good enough. We need people who are able to return to us alive. Isn't that right, Doctor? Whew. It's, it's as Unit says, Unit 11. You've passed your test. Congratulations on officially joining the Steel Counteroffensive. Thank you. I'm gonna head out, Joanna. I'll see you on the battlefield. Yes, of course, Captain. B 
Beep, Joanna, you're almost out of ammunition. I recommend resupplying. What should I do? I haven't completely searched the entire training room yet. <laughs> Unit 11, head to a supply station. For now, you can continue the mission after you resupply. Understood. Yeah, but how about I, I search the entire room first? No, I wanted to... Why didn't I pick up the thing? I didn't pick up the thing. Look, I... I let me... I didn't pick up... I didn't pick up the... I didn't pick up the thing. Is is the thing. I didn't pick up the thing. I didn't pick up... I didn't pick up the thing. I thought that that would be the thing that would take me back, and then there would be other stuff that I'd be able to... But instead, I'm just a big dummy. Can I stand on this thing? No. Can I go down here? No. Oh, I'm so... I'm so... I lost... Whoa, you can like... You can get some good speed going on there, eh? I don't care about these nano potions. I don't need to eat ever. I never eat. Why do, why do, why do you give me these potions? I don't need them. Maybe I should take a potion because I'm actually kind of dying right now. <laughs> guess uh, I guess I, I should have been taking the potions. I just wasn't. Let me let me out. Let me in. Get dusted. These guys are nothing. Nothing if not weak. Oh, what you got to say? How strange. According to the map, the supplies should be around here. That's sick, dude. But you know what we got instead? Not this. Equip. A version of light technology under development was grafted into armor sliced through the area after a successful dodge. Let's let's try it. Shoot at me. I don't know what the what's going on here. Okay, so like I dodge and it automatically slices, I guess. I suppose. Sounds fine enough, I guess. Yeah, take the potion. Nice. All right. Does a does a decent amount of damage that little dodge thingy. Another nano potion. Give me items. Grenade item. Thank you. Not this. Equip. Okay, so we got grenade on Falcon. You know what? This is probably it teaching us how to use the uh, the grenade, right? Infinite grenades? I'm into it. I'm into it. Take another one of these boys, huh? I don't know how to get up there. How do I? How do I? How do I? How do I raise my uh, my height more than than what I can already do here? I do not know. Oh heck yeah! I don't know how to do the the super jumps that I was doing earlier. I don't know how to do them. Okay, so you gotta do like. So I had some some good jumps going on. I don't know. I know uh, that I can maybe get through here, possibly. I I believe I know I can just jump up from the other side. But that's not the point. Okay. Okay. Look, we'll just we'll just do it this way. We'll just do it the easy way. Missile launcher item acquired. We're not going to look at that. Okay. Equip. I don't know what that does. Get out of there quickly. <laughs> um, I don't know what these things are. Okay, you're going to take a little dodge like that? Yeah. How about them apples, huh? Check that out. Look at that expert 
behavior right there. Could be using the grenade a little bit more, I suppose. Uh, General is found inside the destroyed robot. Significant damage movement functions will cease soon. Before that, I leave behind a terrifying truth. Someone's been teaching the monster science. Dope. That sounds like uh, not so good. Sounds particularly bad, even, one might say. Let's go uh, down to the, the science monster laboratory. Get dusted! Oh, I love that dodge. It feels really good to play. It's just... They could have made it not so weirdly sexual. Like, look look at this movement. You know? There's just... There's, some, there's a little something special about this, right? Just, it feels good. It feels really, really good. Mm, that one hurt. Feels good. It's just... They had to, to, to go and ruin it. Because <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a really good feeling game. Honestly, like... Every, everything, everything I'm doing is like... Definitely intentional. Like, it's not button mashing at all. I'm, I'm definitely trying to, to do the things that I'm doing. Right? And that's always a, a nice thing in a game. Is when you're... When you're playing it and everything happens the way that you want it to happen. Instead of like feeling like you just don't have any control over it and you don't know what you're doing. So when you when you feel like you have that control and uh, the game just works the way that you would want it to. It's uh, really, really nice. There are high functioning Garo here that uh, do not harm humans. You can purchase items or... Yeah, I, I wanted to... You can purchase items or assign repairs to them to try talking to them. Sure. Glad it isn't the stupid thing. Uh, so. Can I upgrade my... Barbin sword? Oh, so these are buying new things. I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we got... Uh, this guy is 20. This is 40. This is 12. And this is 20. But this one would attack faster. Yeah, about uh, three times faster. Mm. We have enough to buy both of them, so let's buy both of them. Uh, and then we're going to sell this if we can. Can I can I sell into the inventory? Just ignore all of that. Just ignore it. You know? Equip it and equip it. I like the grenade, so we're going to keep the grenade going. Uh, these I'd like to sell, if I could. See ya. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, the price is dependent on the rarity. Oh, this is like, uh... Not super straight, but, uh... Sure. Sure. Okay. There's music coming from somewhere. The bird. It's Perotti. It's... Perotes Mobius. Perotes Mobius? You recognize it. Because on the intelligent and talented QDAI Falcony. Okay, okay. It doesn't seem overly carefree playing music when monsters could attack at any moment. There's no need to worry. The waterfall is drowning out the music. They'll never hear us over it. So they're pros at goofing off. This is 100% her sister, right? A waterfall in a place like this. It's beautiful. That's the prototype for the metal unit. Gig gigant. Tape pump. Some something like that exists. It was a project dedicated to creating bigger and more beautiful metal units. It's a powerful suit. And it's breathing. You're a metal unit pilot? What are you doing in a place like this? Reinforcements? Not that I'm aware of. You're not here to assist me? Can't you tell? I'm just resting and admiring the music. Did you make any sorties today? He looks like the typical anime MC. Nope, I didn't. Ah, so then yesterday you did. Nope, not yesterday. Or even the week before. 
So you were goofing off. I'm in the middle of a mission right now. I'd appreciate your help. I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it. I'm in the middle of something. Didn't you just say... Yeah, yeah, resting is also an important mission. Stop messing around. Heh, <laughs> we're done for. We can't win. We're overwhelmingly disadvantaged. What's the point of rushing when things are like this? We pilots are supposed to be doing everything we can to save the world. Enough already. It's not something you'll ever understand. Understand what? What do you know? Doesn't it seem off wearing a suit that was originally designed with the help of aliens to fight against the Gyro and instead having to fight aliens with it? That's because the Master doesn't trust the aliens completely and the supplies at the Suntail base are starting to run out. Even so, we still need these metal units. I just want to play. Why? Why do I have to make such a sacrifice? I just want to play. It's a noble sacrifice in order to save the world. I just want to play. Then leave that kind of sacrifice to someone else. I'm out. How can you say such a thing? Do you know how many comrades we lost in order to save this world? Yeah, yeah, the ones at the top were playing lip service while all of us were being torn apart. That's going too far. You and my brother are both fools. You mean your brother was also... He was in the past, anyway. If he didn't crawl into that nest, he would still be alive and well today. He did that so he could protect you. I'm also trying to protect my... Huh? What's wrong, Joanna? Falcone, I don't have any siblings, right? But why does it feel like I do? Don't worry about it. You must be mistaken. Huh? You're so damn annoying. I'm not some idiot that willingly goes along with a suicide mission, charging the monsters head on. Suicide? I'm... You're all the same. Way to ruin the mood. I'm leaving. Please do, so I can get back to playing. Where are you going? I'm going to save the world like you keep going on about. What is that even? Wait a moment. I won't die in some war like this. I don't want to die yet. You see, I'm going to do things my way so that I can save for as long as possible. What? What's with him? Hmm. No, oh, it's just more of an angry hmm. What's wrong, Joanna? Well, we're not playing enough. What a strange person. He's lazy and annoying, but he's honest. They say people like that are lacking in social awareness. You're being mean again, Falcone. I'm only stating facts. Just call it analysis and diagnosis. Will I be able to overcome my fears? That's an unnecessary word. I just want to play? I was advertised a roguelike? Why is that? That person said so. That people can only face themselves when they're put in an extreme situation. Ah, you mean that person you can't ever tell me about? Yeah, your sister, bro. That's classified. Yeah, her sister, bro. That's a roundabout way of telling me that I'm right. Yeah, your sister, bro. It's pointless to repeat something that can be easily verified. Then I'll just have to prepare everything I can before then. Look, I just want to play! Okay, I can just skip it. I didn't want to skip it. But I did. And I kind of wish I skipped more. <laughs> oh my god, no, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm out. That's, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> oh, is this a boss fight? Look, we'll, we'll, we'll fight the boss fight, and then... We'll, we'll, we'll do the boss fight, and then, uh... I will, uh... Uh, we will, uh, we'll, we'll go from there, right? Take a, take a grenade. Grenades, grenades and, and rocks go well together, right? Oh my god, it's a, it's, it's a... It's a uh, concerning boss fight, I suppose, but definitely highly doable, I think. This uh, this gun's definitely playing, paying dividends.
It's all about it's all about the gun and uh, being good at games. Okay, it's all about the gun and being good at games. Okay, it's all about the gun. And then a little bit of being good at games. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. I don't I do, I do not care. I, I I care not at all. I care literally not at all. Oh my god. Why why does her why why do you jump so stupidly? I just Okay, what's the name of this game again? Okay, so this game is called Metal Units. It's available for $17.49 Canadian on Steam. I got it from the Humble Monthly. It's a really fun game when you can play it. If you enjoy the story, then like go for it. Um I don't I don't like if you like the story and you like all the the heavy story stuff then like the game is fantastic. I'm not so into it. Uh, and if you can put up with the, the the heavy fan service as well then I mean more power to you. I uh, I can't. It makes me deeply uncomfortable. Um <laughs> but this has been Metal Unit. Uh the gameplay is is super solid. I uh, I really really enjoy the gameplay as it uh, as it was running around hitting stuff. It felt very smooth. Uh, I felt like I was in control. Um, the boss fight was good fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's overall, it's, a, it's, it's got a, a good underlaying, like, gameplay mechanics kind of thing. Um, if you like the story, it's, it's a great experience. Um, not for me. Not my cup of tea. I will, I will probably not be playing this one again because I was, I was, eh. But, the gameplay was very fun, so. Um, 1749 on Steam, Canadian. That's going to do it for today. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more in the future, not quite like this one probably for, for a while, uh, hit subscribe, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. It's, uh, it's early access, 1749 on Steam. Bye-bye!